Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today we're checking out RX-8's brand new module called Spectral Recovery. RX-8 just came out and there are a bunch of new modules and this is one of them. And I'm gonna show you how to use it with using this clip of a podcast or Zoom call I had with artist BT about plugins. So this is what the audio sounds like out of the gate. Clean, it's got no jitter, sample accurate. I use it to augment a lot of subtractive analog samples. Okay, so you can actually see here in the spectrum that right around, I'd say, you know, 12 kilohertz, all of the audio is lopped off. And that is very common when you're getting audio from Skype or Zoom, for example. So what Spectral Recovery does is tries to fill out that upper frequency content to make the voice sound more natural. And it also, if you check the spectral patching, does spectral patching for frequencies below that cutoff. So if I come in here and actually zoom in, you can see here that we have some patches missing inside of the frequency content. And what that is, is just the compression algorithm cutting what it thinks isn't needed for you to be able to hear the voice using the same bandwidth, essentially. So what we can do is, you know, choose a preset up here, or we can just hit learn, and it's gonna learn the audio that we have and make a custom preset for us. And we can actually increase the size of this as well. Let's go ahead and hit learn. Okay, and now it's done its job. And then we have amount, vowel sibilant balance. And this is here because you might find when you run spectral recovery that or at least in my experience so far, has been that sometimes the S's actually get overpronounced when you do this. So if you wanna roll back on that without having to use the separate DS module, you can just do it right here inside of the processing. I'm gonna leave it off for now just so we can really hear. And we can also see using the spectrum whereabouts the audio begins to roll off. So we can actually move it closer to there if we want, uh, but let's leave it right around here where the dip really starts to happen. And then we have a smoothing option as well. But what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and hit render. And you can actually visually see inside of the spectrum that the frequency content in the higher frequencies has actually been synthesized. And in fact, what it's doing is listening to the entire uh, frequency spectrum that is there and making intelligent guesses based on you know machine learning and artificial intelligence, what those higher frequencies should be and should sound like. Let's go ahead and listen now. Wavetable synth is great, it's clean, it's got no jitter, sample accurate. I use it to augment. All right, so there it was, and here it is without. Wavetable synth is great, it's clean, it's got no jitter, sample accurate. I use it. To While the difference is a little slight, because we are talking about really high frequency content, it does sound more natural. And I also want to jump in here and show you, if you look right here, let me actually zoom in, make the highlight over here and zoom in. Look at this empty frequency space. And after the spectral recovery with the patching, you can see that that's filled out as well. And that actually happens throughout the entire piece here. Again, uh, pay attention you know, to this spot. And really a lot of these different places have been uh, synthesized essentially to making it sound more full and more natural. It is a really great tool for anyone who's doing work that is recorded via Zoom or Skype or anything like that, that you want to sound better and more natural. A really, really great addition to RX-8 and that's just one of the many new modules. That's the new Spectral Recovery module. We're gonna be doing a lot more videos for RX-8 so make sure to subscribe. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.